Who do you put the blame on? I can't put the blame on anybody, right? It's a world economy and, and you know, I'm just grateful that I've had a job this many years here. You know, I'd like to work here tomorrow, I'd like to work here next year, you know. But, you know, I don't know. I'm just kind of hurting right now. So what's your next plans for yourself? I don't know. This came as a complete surprise to me. I heard it on the news. It was How long not the way you want to hear about losing your job. Yeah. How long have you been with GM? I've got over 28 years in. Yeah. So it's it's worrisome. Yeah, I'd like to get a pension like anyone else, but I don't know where I'm going to uh, stand on that. It's going to depend on negotiations with the company and the union, I guess, on that is how some of us high seniority people are going to take care of. And even the low seniority, too. Any hope they're going to retool here for the new trucks? No, it doesn't sound like it, no. No. No, because the uh, the statement they put out was very clear that uh, nothing new with the trucks, that's it. When this runs its course, that's it, finished. How long have you been with GM? 38 years. Wow. Uh, you, so you've seen it all? I've seen it all, yeah. So, how are you feeling? Um, I've kind of prepared myself for this moment because uh, I, you know, having kept up on uh, what's gone on over the years, I knew this uh, was going to come somewhere along the way, and I've also told guys, hey, get ready for it because one day it's going to happen. Still wearing that jacket proud, eh? Well, today I felt like doing this. <laughs> tough, tough day. Yep.